Oh shit. Hey everyone, ZLR here, and I'm gonna be doing my UFL week four recap. So without that being said, let's just get started with it. So the first game we had was the Showboats and the Battle Hawks, where the Battle Hawks won 32 to 17. Uh let's just get the stats real quick. So we had Cookus with uh, eight completions, uh, 12 attempts, 55 yards, one touchdown, one interception. Uh, Victor had 58 yards rushing on 11 attempts and one touchdown. Uh, Surratt, four receptions, 24 yards. Papel, 21 yards off of two receptions, one touchdown. Pretty decent, pretty decent. <clears throat> and for the Battle Hawks, we had AJ McCarron, 45 attempted, 35 completed, 222 yards, three touchdowns, and one interception. Sailors, 15 attempts rushing, uh, got 103 yards. Really, really good. AJ McCarron also had 23 yards rushing off of four attempts. And Galman with seven yards off of two attempts for one touchdown. We also had Pearson with 10 receptions for 70 yards and one touchdown. Butler with eight receptions for 61. Uh, Shepard, 27 yards off of three receptions. And Aitman with 23 yards off of three receptions. So, first game was pretty good. Second game here was the Defenders and the Stallions, where the Stallions beat the Defenders 20-18. to So, yeah. And, uh, getting the stats up real quick. We'll start with the Defenders first. We have Teyamu with... 161 yards off of 22 attempted passes, 12 of them being completed, and he had two touchdowns. <clears throat> Harris had 34 yards off of 11 rushing attempts. Uh, Teamu also had 24 yards off of four attempts. Um, <clears throat> Harmon had 93 yards off of five receptions, one touchdown. Uh, Smith had 33 yards off of two receptions. Rowland, 21 yards off of two receptions and one touchdown. Pretty decent game from the defenders. <clears throat> the Stallions, on the other hand, Matt Carell, 29 attempted, 19 completed, 240 yards, one touchdown. Uh, Person, 57 yards off of 11 rushing attempts. Harrell with 51 yards off of seven Russian attempts. <clears throat> and we have Rogers with 82 yards off of four receptions and one touchdown. Uh, Sternberger, 50 yards off of two receptions. Victor with 33 yards off of three receptions. And Kane with 24 yards off of three receptions. So... Pretty pretty good game there for guys that are just trying to get the scores. Next we had the <clears throat> Panthers and the Brahmas. Brahmas beating the Panthers nineteen to nine here. And uh we'll get you the stats. Uh Etling with 105 yards off of 14 attempted passes, 11 of them being completed for one touchdown and one interception. And their backup quarterback, Perry, also came out and had 77 yards off of 13 attempted passes and seven of them being complete. Uh, Perry also had 49 rushing yards off of four attempts. Uh, Colburn, 27 yards off of 7 attempts. 
and Hills with 25 yards off of four attempts. <clears throat> Sims, 63 yards off of four receptions for one touchdown. Quinn with 52 yards for four receptions. Uh, Sewell with 11 yards off of one reception. And that's really about it for the Panthers. <clears throat> On the Brahmas side, we had Dormandy with 37 attempted passes, with 23 of them being completed. 269 yards, one touchdown, and one interception. Lovett, 35 yards off of 13 attempts at rushing, and he got one touchdown. <clears throat> Smith with 107 yards, seven receptions, zero touchdowns. Kirkland, 105 yards, five receptions. Latimer, uh, 32 yards off five receptions. Stevenson with 16 yards off of three receptions and a touchdown. <clears throat> so, pretty pretty decent game from both sides there. And for the last game, it was the Roughnecks and the Renegades with the Roughnecks taking that one 17-9. And <clears throat> just getting stats. Does this not want to show stats? There we go. <clears throat> so we had Perez, 141 yards for 28 attempted passes with 15 of them being completed. One touchdown, one interception. And they also had Scott go out there, one attempt, one, attempt, one complete for 21 yards. Brown had 17 yards rushing off of 8 attempts. Uh, Smith had 13 off of 6. <clears throat> Burnett had 58 yards off of 4 receptions and 1 touchdown. Brown had 41 yards off of 4 receptions. Smith had 31 yards off of 3 receptions. Canella had... 17 yards off of one. And for the roughneck side of things, we have Sinet with 191 yards and one touchdown from the 18 completed passes they had out of the 28. Uh, Thompson, 34 yards, nine attempts, one touchdown. Pledger, 30 yards for 10 attempts. <clears throat> Grayson, three receptions for 62 yards. Hall had four receptions, 35 yards. Chisholm, four, four receptions for 30 yards. Um, we also had Bowman, 13 yards off of one reception. Ratliff Williams, 12 yards off of one reception. And Butler with 12 yards off of two receptions, and he got a touchdown. So, pretty decent game from all of these uh, teams this week. I already have my Week 5 predictions out already, so if you guys want to see that, it'll be in my playlist for the UFL season. And other than that, hope you guys like, subscribe, comment, do whatever you want to do, and I'll see you all in the next one. See you around. Actually, before I go, I just wanted to say what my predictions were for last week that I got right and wrong. So I got two right and two wrong. That put my predictions at nine and seven for right now. So not the best, but I mean, it could be worse. Um, <clears throat> At least I've gotten like the 50 50 each week so hopefully this week it turns out a little different and i can push a little bit more towards the winning side of things but um other than that i really have nothing much else to say so like i said already like subscribe comment i'll see you all in the next one see you around